Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are just going to be doing a quick little reading to do an energy check-in with your romantic connection. So for today's pick a card reading we are asking Spirit what is going on in your connection at this moment and we have three groups for you guys to choose from. Group number one here with the Tarot of Mystical Moments, group number two with the Ride Away Tarot and then lastly we have group number three with Brit's Third Eye Tarot. Okay, so as always, you can pause the video here to meditate on which group you feel most drawn to, or maybe you feel drawn to more than one group. And then you can just check the description box down below for the timestamps, and then let's see what is going on in your connection. Hello and welcome everyone who picked group number one. So you guys chose the Tarot of Mystical Moments. And today we are just doing a quick little energy check-in with your connection. So we are asking Spirit what is going on in your connection, and I'm specifically focusing on romantic connections obviously if you want to look at this as like another type of connection like a friendship that's fine as well but maybe some of the messages won't resonate okay so let's just jump in and see what is going on between you and your partner or love interest so spirit for group number one please what is going on in this connection right now okay we have the four of cups okay so there might be some sadness in this connection at the moment. Uh, one or both of you might be feeling a bit alone. It could be that you're going through a period of separation, um, like a bit of a stormy period as well. There could be a breakup situation going on here. So maybe some of you are inquiring about an ex. We have the two of wands, okay. So someone is definitely feeling like they are missing out on something. I almost feel like your person is looking at you shining like this moon here. So it could be that you have gone through a big glow up or something like that. And they they really feel like they are now missing out on your energy. Because they might have been the one to, to end this situation. Or just like put it on hold. Let's see some more here. Okay, we have the Two of Swords coming out with the Five of Swords. And we have the Ten of Wands. Just want to get some clarifiers before I do some more interpreting here. So for the Four of Cups spirit, please. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords and we had the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, and then for the Two of Wands, okay, we have seven of cups reversed Let me just move these along a bit and we had the devil okay interesting this person is very much still holding on if you are in separation they they are definitely still thinking about you okay we have the temperance card and lastly for a ten of wands we have okay ace of wands okay Yes, they definitely want a new start if you are in separation with this person. And back of the deck is a Nine of Cups. I'm just going to keep this here for now. Okay. So, pile number one. I definitely sense that for most of you, this is some type of breakup or separation situation that we have going on here. So, with the Four of Cups, as I mentioned, uh, this person is feeling very alone and like despondent at the moment and uh, now we have the ten of swords here it's almost like they are stuck in their head quite a lot and we have all of these ne needles pricking this uh, woman's hair so it's almost like the overthinking is causing them physical pain and they really want to close off the cycle tense talks about like finishing cycles so it's almost too much to bear and they really want to move out of this sad and alone energy and now with the four of swords as well you know um in ca it can talk about like a rest period so they they really want to come out of this it's like coming out of hibernation so i really get a very strong sense that it's almost like this connection stagnated so even if it isn't like a separation it's it's like it wasn't moving forward and they really wanted this forward movement this um growth especially with the two of wands here because it talks about planning for for the future so uh, this girl is holding like this big earth sitting on on the roof here so it's like you you are like the whole world and 
they could really see a future with someone like you but now they like I mentioned they, they feel like they are missing out and you're like this sh light shining so it could be that you are currently uh, being very active socially with like friends or family or on social media you are posting quite a lot it could even be that you are traveling at the moment or just like on vacation and posting a lot of these pictures and this person is really feeling like almost desperate to to also experience your energy so i do get a sense of jealousy here as well now we have the seven of cups here uh, and it, it usually talks about choices it can even talk about confusion so it could be that this person didn't choose you so maybe they are someone who likes to play the game a bit so it can even be like they they thought they had more time with you and they weren't sure in the moment that they wanted to choose you so they chose to follow a different path or some some other relationship and it's almost like now they are, they are even <clears throat> they are feeling even more confused because in the past it was more like their own <laughs> stupid choices that made them choose someone else but but now it's like they don't know what to do to remedy the situation. So um, there might have been some other factors they had to take into consideration in the past, but it was minor compared to what they have to take into consideration now. So it could be that there is some distance between you or maybe you guys work together or something like that. And now you aren't in that situation anymore um, because there's a definite sense of like, holding on so it feels to me like they there's just some kind of distance between you it could even just talk about like emotional distance where you had a very strong bond and now that has been severed um, now with the devil we have some capricorn energy here this is like obsessive energy so once again that that jealous energy coming through they are really still stuck on you it's it's like you caught them like in the spider web and we have the cherries on here as well, which talks about temptation. So definitely you guys are like this siren, almost luring them in. And as I said here, it's like you're really glowing. So it could be that you went through a glow up. Maybe you really focused on self-love and um, maybe like living up in terms of career or just um, the way that you dress or the way that you do your hair because we have like a hairdo here and this girl or woman as well has like a very like an updo style so maybe you just changed something about your appearance your your makeup anything like that and they are really impressed by the way that you handled the situation maybe they thought that you would come running after them um, and it could be that maybe you did try in the beginning to like contact them and keep in touch but then you chose to to focus on yourself and not let this get to you too much now obviously that that might just be like a persona that you put up but i think this person was really impressed by the way that you didn't let it get you down and just like sit there in a, in a pit of despair um unlike them because i think they are really wearing masks in this situation i think uh, it might look on the surface like they are enjoying their life but underneath they are really feeling this alone energy so it could be they are, that they themselves are surrounded by friends but especially when they are alone these thoughts about you and the the choices that they made and the regret regret over these choices are really hitting them uh, it could be at night even with this four of swords we have like a dreamy uh, image on here so it could even be that while they are sleeping and dreaming they they are almost hit with these realizations so maybe in their dreams you appear and it's, it's some type of situation where they can't get you um, that's what's coming through so we also have the two of swords here which is really about like indecision so as i said in in the past they might have made a different choice because they were confused in a way so maybe they weren't sure that you were like the one um, and now this indecision has, has almost developed into a different kind of choice so it's about improving the situation now and coming clean and apologizing that's really what's what's coming through so 
I think this person is thinking about this a lot and with the Five of Swords here they are anticipating some type of conflict if they were to approach you. So in, in this picture in the guidebook it talks about almost like this woman deceiving the man. Now it doesn't have to be that the woman is in this connection is deceiving the man but there was definitely some um, someone deceiving the other one in, in this situation in the past. So it could be that there were like mixed signals from this person's side and you really thought that this connection was going somewhere and then they just suddenly chose someone else and this man has like an open space here where, where his heart is and there's like stitches over so I really feel like this left a hole in your heart uh, now you could be the masculine but you don't have to be obviously we are just talking about energy here it doesn't have to relate to gender but someone definitely acted in one way and and gave the impression of something else so um, I think this person might have loved bond to you so if I look at this rose here maybe they gave you like gifts or they did lots of little favors or they gave you lots of compliments anything like that uh, and that's what gave you the impression that they were serious about you but then they made this different choice and you were left confused as well now with the temperance I really get the idea that this has been uh, a bit of a longer uh, separation or breakup or, or or just like um, time that has passed in this connection and what's interesting to me is that there's like these white I think it's doves on here so it's almost like this person hasn't felt peace since this has happened so it could be that they felt at, at peace when they were in your presence and since they chose this different path they really haven't experienced that again um, and I think this is almost talking about an impatience on their side but not not necessarily with you but actually with themselves and this indecision indecision that they are still experiencing because I feel like in their heart space they know what they want to do and what they need to do uh, and I'm feeling for most of you this is um, an act of apologizing but Lo logically and <laughs> their mind is telling you that this isn't a smart choice to make because they are really anticipating a lot of conflict and I think I do think you guys have a right to be angry with them if this is what what played out so um, maybe you really do want to give them an earful and really uh, tell them how they hurt you which is obviously your right and I think that is something that you should do um, spirit is really saying like it's not it's not fair of them to expect you to just welcome them back with open arms and not um, be angry at them at all because obviously it's not okay this type of behavior and you, you you should tell them how it made you feel and how it impacted your life now with the ten of wands here again that, that ten energy of closing off cycles and a ten of wands is also really about this big burden that you're carrying but in this ten of wands it's like all of these flowers so it's it's like this beautiful burden and when i talk about a beautiful burden i think this person is burdened by good memories with you so it was all of these wonderful memories and feelings that they experienced in your presence and like the peace as i said this feeling of calm and they have to live with that and the fact that they they chose to let you walk away or they chose to pursue a different path and um, that is what's really stressing them out right now because it's really self-inflicted on their part and they only have themselves to to blame for how this played out now we are ending here with the ace of wands which is all about a fiery new beginning so this truly is what they want they want a new start they want fresh energy in this connection and you see here it's interesting we have the ten of wands of all of the flowers and then again this this flower here of the ace of wands so it's almost like they want to start from scratch and and grow this from the ground up so this person really wants a clean slate with you uh, i really get a strong sense of regret so I think for some of you guys you m might expect some communication from this person because I think it's it's weighing quite heavily on their heart and on their mind so 
even for for their own sense of peace i think they want to have clarification about whether you still hold space for them and whether there's still a possibility of a future with them uh, because really in reality we have this nine of cups energy at the back of the deck which is like the overall energy and this is talking about wishes and wish fulfillment and once again all of these flowers here so you really stand out to them as a person it could even be that this confusion that they felt was because you were almost exactly what they had in mind as an ideal partner and it was like self-sabotage where they messed it up be before they could get rejected or before before they can actually come into union with you and then something goes wrong and they have to lose you so they made you leave almost so in reality <laughs> they really still wish for this connection and they really wish that they can have this new beginning so you guys obviously still have the power you can still choose to be open to them and communication from them or you can choose to block their energy and any approaches that they make towards you um, so that is your choice you have free will now i do want to see some future energy for this connection so i'm just going to use like this little everyday tarot so spirit can you give us an idea whether group number one's person will be contacting them? What is the future of this connection? Let's see here. Okay, we have, I'm just going to take the top one. We have the sun card, so some Leo energy. I definitely get the sense that this person's happiness lies with you. It's like they really uh, feel your light because you have the sun here and like I said, this moon shining. So it's really like you you almost brighten up their lives we also have judgment in reverse and we have king of swords in reverse and the hierophant in reverse it could be that you are quite different from each other with this hierophant in reverse uh, it could even be that this was a connection that maybe went against the rules if i can say it like that but it's this can even talk about this this person's own rules for relationships so maybe they weren't really one for serious long-term relationships and now they met you and they almost want to change the rules that they made for themselves now with the king of swords once again that that feeling of overthinking um now for some of you this person could be too stuck in their head and this can um block them from making a move towards you because they are really quite scared of this conflict energy here and they are scared of judgment as well but i do think this also talks about karma so once again that idea of this person might portray an image of being happy but i think it's really hitting them hard and they they could even be losing out on some type of opportunity in their life that they really wanted um as some type of comic justice from the universe um which you might not even know about uh okay so oh at the back of the deck we have the fool reversed so for some of you this person could come in recklessly maybe like a drunk text or something like that but there's really like the sense of of fear of of, of starting new even though they really want a new beginning they they are quite afraid even afraid of of looking like a fool because i think they really respect you and they value your opinion a lot but they are quite scared of how you view them now because of the way that they acted and because of the choices that they made okay so let's just end your reading with some advice from spirit i'm actually going to use like an oracle card from the sacred destiny oracle so spirit can we get one card to give us some advice sorry <laughs> for group number one let's see here okay we have freedom interesting i think with this you you shouldn't be focusing on this connection right now you should really still be focusing on your own growth because obviously you are already shining um and with freedom i think you should find joy in this experience and maybe even in this separation because it it could really be giving you space to f to focus your energy on other areas of your life so maybe you yourself want to focus on your career or focus on strengthening some friendship bonds or making just plans for the future i'm even thinking like travel with this i get some sagittarius energy uh, so i think spirit is really saying like spread your wings don't 
let this hold you back from really enjoying your life and experiencing your time with friends and family um so don't be don't be like this person and just be stuck in your head all the time it's obviously not wrong to miss them and to want communication from them but it shouldn't be your goal if i can say it like that okay let's get some last parting advice from spirit so spirit for group number one can we get some advice from the monology deck please just one or two cards okay we have one we have the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini interesting okay so i think this temperance energy is also relating to you so you should be patient and that's also why you should be focusing on yourself because these answers will come to you in due time maybe not as swiftly as you would like them but they will come you will have some clarity but if you're constantly thinking about this communication then you're also going to be in this anxious energy and that's what spirit doesn't want for you so with gemini it's obviously ruled by mercury so definitely the sense of messages um, could even be online like this person could contact you through social media now with gemini again that idea of being like a split personality almost so I definitely get a strong sense that what this communication will be about is this person's persona or mask that they put up in society when in reality they were really feeling quite alone and this is part of the message that they will convey to you uh, but so spirit is really just saying you guys shouldn't worry uh, it will come to you you know you don't have to go find answers um, that's like the main message so to end your reading, pile number one, let's get one last card here. So, spiritual group, okay, we have two. Uh, we have align your life, what is not aligned or needs to change. And we have star seed, what lights you up, interesting. Okay, so some of you guys might relate to the idea of star seeds. It could be that you have some type of uh, mission here on earth and for me this really links with this idea of you guys shining so maybe this separation was also needed for you guys to be able to find like your divine path in life it was like a redirection from spirit and this person might have been holding you back in some way if you weren't to have this time alone where you can focus on your life and where you can align your life so maybe you needed some time to find your soul family and a career that really aligns with your authentic self. It can even talk about general lifestyle choices. So maybe like your schedule, uh, how much sleep you get, your diet could have changed. It can even be like a, a, a change of location with this freedom card and that idea of travel so maybe you wanted to emigrate to a different country and you felt that you wanted to stay in one place because of this person so it's it's really like spirit <laughs> almost nudging you in a different direction uh, with this separation period or breakup period and I think things will come back into alignment in terms of this connection if that is meant for you or maybe this clarity could be in terms of how how this really benefited you in the long run this this separation and i do think this star seed energy with you shining a light is also what made you different to this person it could be that they almost had a sense that you had a greater purpose and they themselves didn't want to hold you back because it it maybe felt to them that they had some baggage that they didn't want to burden you with now obviously this will relate differently to to everyone but it can even uh, i'm just mentioning mentioning this as a side note but with star seed here and this idea of um, your life aligning this could be part of like a divine counterpart journey but it will only resonate with some of you guys um, so take that how you want to <laughs> uh, but poll number one i think i'm going to read your I'm going to leave your reading here. So that is what I see for you guys. That is what is currently going on in this connection. 
If it resonated, you can let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to support me and my channel, you can give this video a like and subscribe. You can even uh, click the notification bell if you want to. And then I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video soon. Bye! Hello and welcome all my lovely people who picked group number two. So today we are just doing a quick reading to check in with your connection. So we want to see what's going on here between you and your partner or uh, romantic interest. Now you could look at this um, in terms of other connections like a friendship, but we are focusing on romantic partnership. So some messages might not resonate if you are looking at like a a friend or a family member but anyway you can choose to do that if you want to so spirit let's jump straight in and see what is going on in this connection so for pile number two please what is going on in pile number two's connection right now what is feelings thoughts what's what other ones come through okay we have five of wands here and we have the wheel of fortune so there might be some changes going on you guys might be fighting a bit about these changes, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, because the Five of Wands could talk about arguments. But let's not jump ahead. Okay, ooh, tower moment. Okay. Hmm. Let's get some more. Okay, we have Judgment reversed and the Emperor. We have Three of Wands reversed. There might be... <laughs> Uh, okay, three of swords reversed. There might be some lack of growth or, or it's like you're talking about taking the ne next step in this connection. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers here, Spirit. For the... Okay. Actually, I'm not going to take that. Okay, we have seven of pentacles. Hmm. We have a Knight of Wands. Let's get just a few more before I talk about what I'm seeing here. Okay, we have the Moon. So some intuition here. Maybe you guys are very intuitive. You can almost pick up on what this person is feeling. We have the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. And Temperance. <laughs> okay. And we have the High Priestess. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, let's start with the High Priestess. Actually, it's like the overarching, overarching energy in this connection right now. So, I really feel like you guys are very intuitive, and you are picking up on a lot of <laughs> um, energy in your connection. And maybe this is energy isn't being expressed verbally. Just give me a moment. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just wanted to close the window. The neighbors are like cutting down a tree or something. Anyway, okay, so you guys are picking up on a lot of energy that is like maybe unconscious or, or it's not being expressed. So it's almost like you can feel your person wants to talk about something, but they, they aren't actually <laughs> communicating whatever it is that they are thinking about. So this is really bothering you guys because it's almost like at the tip of your tongue to just tell them, just 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 say it <laughs> just say what you are thinking or feeling or whatever because as i said here in the beginning i feel like this connection is going through some changes right now uh you know it's there's almost like phases in relationships they talk about like the honeymoon phase obviously but you have like growth periods so it could be that you guys are in one of these growth periods where this relationship should evolve to to a, a deeper uh, connection and this is causing some strife between you and your person and now with the seven of pentacles uh, it's about like putting in work and watching something grow so i think if there are some arguments here it's really about what the way forward is so maybe you are currently just like dating and you want to define a relationship or you're already in a long-term relationship and you want to get engaged or you want to move in together or you want to start a family so this is a type of conversations that you guys might be having or wanting to have uh, it can even be that you yourself isn't 
being clear about what exactly you want to happen and you just have like this restless energy and maybe your person mirrors you and they also have like this restless energy because they can also feel that there are some unexpressed things in this connection and you know with the tower here um, I do think it could turn into maybe like a big argument if no one is to come forward with what they are truly thinking and feeling now with the knight of wands it's a, it's like rushing in almost so maybe uh, there's going to be a sudden explosion of feelings uh, or thoughts and then it's it's going to be this tower moment um but i think this is almost like a necessary uh experience in this connection or a necessary situation because it will force you to be open about what you want it could even be that one of you is rushing forward in this connection and the other one is stalling a bit. So maybe you aren't exactly on, exactly on the same page in terms of how quickly you want this relationship to evolve. Now, it, it could be the masculine person, doesn't relate to gender, but just like the one who embodies the masculine energy more, who almost pushes for forward movement and this can lead to this argument. Uh, but it doesn't have to be necessarily. Now, with the judgment reversed and the emperor, you know, this is the divine masculine energy here. I think, I do think for a lot of you, the the masculine energy is keeping the secrets here um, in terms of how they want this relationship to unfold. And it could be that they are scared of some judgment from the feminine side. It could even be that they feel <laughs> it's a bit, if this is a, an actual man as well, it could be that they feel it's usually the, the woman who is more uh, bothered with, with like defining their relationship or moving it into a more serious level. And they almost feel like they will be judged if they were the one to come forward and say that this is something that they want, that they want like commitment or they want engagement or they want to start a family. Because the emperor is it can really be like a family man as well. It's like having your little kingdom. So for a lot of you guys, it could talk about them wanting to move in together or to start a family. Now, if you are the feminine, I think you're intuitively picking up on this. So there's quite a lot that's not being expressed at the moment. It could even be that this isn't something that the person, whoever this is, that really wants this forward movement, that they haven't really acknowledged it to themselves because the moon can talk about things that are unconscious. Um, so it could be that the other person can, can almost... Uh, read this person's mind and see what they want for the future but they are confused because this this masculine if it is the masculine isn't actually expressing it it's like it's not clear to the masculine themselves and that is this is frustrating the other person because to them they can clearly see what this masculine wants but um I don't know if this is making sense to you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really talking very um, muddled. I almost feel like this is talking about this person's thoughts as well. They don't know how to eloquently word what they, they want to happen in this connection. Um, we do have water energy here, so I, I feel like Pisces and Cancer with this. But I'm almost thinking that one of you might have a Pisces Mercury. I do. Um, and the reason I'm mentioning this is because we have a tendency to <laughs> not always make sense when we talk. So maybe this person or you have expressed what you want to happen in this connection, but it's almost like the other person didn't really understand what you meant or they didn't grasp fully that you want this connection to move into a more serious uh, level like a deeper bond or just like I said like engagement or stuff like that so maybe you are confused in terms of how to communicate this to make the other person understand what exactly it is that you want to happen um, because with this three of wands right now you're not 
growing in this connection. It's really like it's at a standstill. Or, or not like a standstill necessarily, but just moving very slowly with this Knight of Pentacles. Um, and the Seven of Wands is also about... It's like a fight. So... I really get a strong sense that for, for some of you guys, um, there's a mismatch between what both parties want and this is causing some tension or some harsh words. It can even, it doesn't even have to talk about like the next level of the relationship. It can just talk about other external factors. So maybe one of you got a new job and you are thinking about it, but then if you take this new job, you would have to relocate. So you have to take into consideration this partnership. Maybe you even have a family with this person and it would mean relocating the whole family, like the children and everyone. So there are, there are definitely other things to also take into consideration. It's not only the, the person that you're in a partnership with. And this is also what's, what's causing you or this person to hold back this information. Um, Especially with the Knight of Pentacles, which can talk about, like, I mean, it's the Pentacles, so it can talk about career. So it could be that one of you has maybe, like, plans to study abroad or go on some type of course or something. Uh, even just, like, moving to a different job, even if it's not in a different location. But something, some type of change, yeah, especially relating to the Wheel of Fortune again. Some type of change is happening in this connection or it could be happening in this connection and either or both parties aren't being honest about what exactly they want to happen. Uh, so maybe this is like someone's dream career opportunity but they don't want to take it because it would mean moving away from their partner for a bit even if it's just like for a few months. So. I think there's like this push-pull between what you really want and what is best quote-unquote for the connection but it could lead to some feelings of regret or even like blaming the other person if you don't take this opportunity so I think Spirit is saying you you, you should rather be honest both parties about how you see this relationship unfolding um, so, because maybe these problems are, are bigger than you think it is, if it's like some type of relocation. Because maybe this other person um, can also find a, a better or a new job in this different location that you would be moving to. Or maybe your kids, uh, if they have to move along with you, they would really enjoy this new location or there are like very great schools there or there's a lot of opportunities there for them. So I think Spirit is really encouraging you to be open about the future that you have in mind for this connection and the future that you have in mind for yourself as well. Um, so that there couldn't be feelings of blaming the other person if you can't live out your dream. Now with the Three of Swords reversed here, it can talk about um, almost like a renewal. It's it's like um, a makeup energy of the going through some heartbreak um, and we have the temperance here as well so I do think <laughs> you don't have to worry about this uh, situation falling apart if you come clean with what exactly it is that you want it's just that it might take some time for you to move through this growth period in the relationship and to move move through these changes uh, because it can be a bit difficult having to almost rebuild your relationship around these changes um, even if it's like good changes so maybe like an uh, engagement or moving in together you still have to get used to this new energy and the new situation so that's just something that you have to have patience for um, but it's, it's going to end well with the three of swords reversed even if there was like these arguments i think all of this tension will be resolved here uh, and you might come out stronger as, as a, a partnership or a couple or a family. Um, I almost feel like uh, it would be healing to have this conversation as well. Your, as I mentioned earlier, your fears might be bigger than the actual problem. Um, 
So you're almost like anticipating a big breakdown in this situation. But in reality, it's not that big of a deal. Like it is a big deal to like move location or to get engaged. But your fear surrounding it is not as big as it would seem. So and that is what I get for this part of the reading. I actually want to get some future energy because I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what the situation is for everyone. I think since we are dealing with collective energy, it can resonate differently. Let's see, Spirit, can you give us a bit more information here? What exactly, okay, what exactly is this change? We have the Eight of Wands reversed. So I do get a sense of travel for a lot of you guys, so relocation. We have the Two of Wands. So again, that idea of planning for the future. And we have Seven of Wands reversed. Interesting. And we had it here as well. A lot of ones here, a lot of fiery energy. Uh, now, ones can talk about emotions, but it can also talk about creativity. So it could it could be that one of you wants to leave like a corporate job for a more creative field. But um, if it's relating to emotions, I do think it's really talking about deepening this connection and moving to a next level. And especially with the two of ones, which is all about planning for the future, and it's it's like. It's like it, this is something that you already wanted a long time ago with this Eight of Wands reversed. So it's like a, a very frustrated energy right now. Um, I think the energy has been building up for quite some time. And it's going to explode a bit <laughs> with this tower moment. But things will be healed so you don't have to worry about that. But definitely it's going to be a bit of a fight. Um, and... It's, I think it's stupid that people say couples shouldn't fight. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's like propaganda. <laughs> um, you can fight in a way that's, that's um, strengthening the relationship because um, it's not healthy to keep your thoughts to yourself and to like never disagree. <laughs> um, obviously, having arguments doesn't mean you should be belittling the other person or name calling or anything like that, but just stating your opinion in a respectful way and then both of you can grow from that. And maybe you uh, look at this uh, situation from a different perspective. Um, Spurs is really saying like, don't keep the information to yourself uh, because it's hurting you more than it's helping you. Let's get one last card here. Okay, that's too many, please. Just one. Just one. Okay. Ace of Cups reversed. Hmm. For a lot of you guys, this is really talking about a next level of, of commi commitment. Um, for some of you, I haven't mentioned this. <laughs> but it could be that this was a situation that is not actually even a relationship right now. I did think I... I do think I talked about like dating and not actually being in a relationship, but um, there's definitely a lot of emotions that were unexpressed or is unexpressed at the moment. So this can talk about not actually admitting your feelings to this person or not actually admitting your feelings about making changes in the status of the relationship or, or like I mentioned, your location and your career and how it will impact the relationship. So that is just what is coming through here. Now we do have the Six of Wands here at the back of the deck, which is victory. So once again, linking in with the Three of Swords reversed and the Temperance. It might take some time, but you will be victorious. It's not like this relationship will fall apart. It's just that there are some things that need to be said for, for any confusion to be cleared up. Okay, so I definitely want to get some advice for you guys. Uh, so I'm actually going to get an Oracle card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So Spirit, for group number two, please, can you give us some advice here? Something they should keep in mind. Let's see. Okay, we have miracles. Interesting. And we have a double rainbow here. That could be a sign for you guys. Okay, so if you, and we have success here at the back of the deck. If you were wondering about whether there is going to be a deeper level of commitment i do think this is happening for you guys it might even happen unexpectedly um now i do think for some of you actually this is just a side message coming in if there's some of you that wanted to get pregnant maybe you had a lot of miscarriages or something like that 
I think you might have like a miracle baby. And maybe this news is part of what you don't want to immediately share because you're almost scared that you will jinx it. So that is just like a side note for a select few of you guys. So I do think there's some type of dream coming true. And this is part of the news that you should share with this person. Now, it could be this like actual baby or it could even talk about like a creative baby. So some type of creative project that's getting off the ground. And that is what's causing you to relocate or to change your plans for the future. Obviously, if it's a real baby, that involves quite a lot of planning because maybe you live in a house or an apartment where there isn't space for a baby right now and that's why you have to plan for the future this could even be what's what's going to be causing some arguments because you have could have some different views on like how, how to raise a family um interesting because especially with the wheel of fortune it, as i said it's changes but it could even be like this unexpected change so maybe you weren't planning to get pregnant and just suddenly <laughs> You are. Um, hmm. But but if it's not talking about like an actual baby, it's just like um, some other opportunity coming your way that is going to be causing some changes in your life. And it's going to be causing some changes in this relationship as well. Okay, so let's get some last advice. So from the Moonology deck, please, Spirit. Can we get, okay, what is that? We have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So linking in with that idea of intuition. I think you could, you guys like already know actually what you <laughs> what you should do and what you want to do. It's just about communicating it with this person. And I think if you take some time of stillness, uh, you can really think about how you want to approach your partner and how you want to... Um, convey your your news uh, and once again with the new moon it's this new energy so definitely this relationship is moving into a new phase yeah and i do think this other person is also picking up on your energy so that's part of why this isn't something that's going to be falling apart because they also anticipate some type of uh, conversation that is to be had or some type of changes happening in this relationship Okay, let's get one last card here. So spirit for group number two, please. One last piece of advice for them. Okay, we have Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Help Us in the Subtle Realms. Okay, I definitely think uh, linking with this Miracles card, this change happening could be something that is spirit intervening in your life so maybe it's very unexpected like i said like an unexpected pregnancy or this career opportunity um and it's almost like you didn't plan for this it wasn't part of your future planning but now that it is there you have to take it into consideration maybe even if this was like um, as I said, just a dating situation and when you want to make this a formal relationship. It could be that this person was brought onto your path by spirit and it was actually like at a very bad time. It's almost like a right place, wrong time situation. And that's part of why you don't want to actually tell them how you really feel. But spirit is really encouraging you to do that because... I think you will find a way to work around these changes and to work around some of these external factors that might be holding you back from taking this to the next level or holding your person back from taking it to the next level. If I can use an example, I have a friend who's going to be au pairing in um, the Netherlands and um, let's say she starts to date someone now and she has to go overseas in a few months so on the one side you almost feel like you don't want to commit to someone because you're going away but on the other hand you could be missing out on this great opportunity if you only focus on the external factors because obviously she's like she's coming back after a year so it could be foolish to let this opportunity pass you by uh, due to 
other things in your life. So I think whatever your situation is, we've covered quite a lot of scenarios because we are dealing with collective energy, but whatever your situation is, you could be looking at some of the things um, externally and not actually just focusing on the connection and this very strong intuitive connection that you have with this person because there's definitely already like deep feelings or there is established feelings and that is what you should be focusing on um, because I do think of this miracles card as well this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity and you shouldn't be making hasty decisions that you will regret later and that's why you should meditate and contemplate on this um, Okay, so group number two, I hope that made sense for you guys. It was a bit all over the place because we are dealing with a lot of scenarios here. Um, but if it resonated, you can let me know in the comments down below. And then I wish you guys all of the best. I hope you have a lovely day. If you want to support me and my channel, you can give this video a like and subscribe. You can even click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post new videos. And then I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one soon. Bye. Hello and welcome everyone who picked group number three. So you guys chose the Brits third eye tarot. I really like this deck. It wasn't even very expensive, <laughs> but it's very cute. Um, anyway, so today we are asking Spirit about what's going on in your connection right now. So we are specifically looking at like romantic connections, but obviously if you want to look at like a friendship or a family member, you can do that as well. But some of the messages might not resonate with you guys. But anyway, that is totally your cho choice. Um, so let's jump in and see. So Spirit for group number three, what is going on in this connection right now? Can we get some more information, please? Okay, we have Ace of Cups. Oh, that's so nice. Um, we had some interesting messages in group number one and two so let's see what is going on in group number three's connection please spirit definitely uh, like um already a lot of love in this connection so deep feelings or this it could be like a, a new ish relationship um and you're just like establishing connections but okay i was wrong <laughs> king of cups definitely like deep emotions already it could be that uh, you you've only known this person for a short amount of time but you've already developed like quite intense feelings or this person has already developed quite intense feelings but i do think it's it's from both sides because we have like the scales here as well so i think it's very balanced or maybe like mirrored we have the hanged man reverse this is uh pisces energy hmm Someone could be feeling a bit stuck. Uh, let's see, two of swords, indecision. Okay, let's get some more here. I'm actually gonna get some more cards for you guys because this deck is quite small, so I can fit in a lot. Let's see, we have four of wands reversed. Hmm. Okay, and we have, what's that? Four of swords reversed, interesting. Okay, let's just get some clarifiers before I say what I see here. Okay, we have Ace of Swords. Interesting, the two Aces. So I definitely sense that for most of you, this is a new world connection. Or it hasn't developed into like something uh, very committed or very serious. We have a Six of Swords reversed. Let's see, for the Hanged Man here, Spirit. We have Queen of Wands. Okay, we have Knight of Swords. Okay, we have Queen of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. And okay, <laughs> we have Six of Pentacles. And back of the deck is the Fool, so Aquarius energy here. All right, so let's see what's going on to this connection. Okay, so as I mentioned here, already quite established feelings here in this connection. Uh, it might be feeling almost a bit strange, especially if it's someone you haven't known for a long time. Or this person might be feeling like this is bizarre because they they almost feel like this deep love for you and they haven't known you for so long. Or maybe they haven't had so many interactions with you. So maybe they've they've known you for a longer period of time, but the time they've spent with you isn't that much. Um, okay, now with the Ace of Swords, it's really like clear to them that they they feel very intensely towards you it's like uh, the sword cutting through everything so maybe 
they have never felt this amount of clarity about someone before. It's it's like they they know that you're the one, uh, or they see you as the one. Now with the the King of Cups here, it's it's um, explained by the Six of Swords in reverse. Now the Six of Swords is about like moving into calmer waters or like positive change. So maybe this person is a bit scared because of these intense feelings. It feels like they might be holding back a bit. Maybe everything was going great and you know you and this person were really, were really like getting along, flirting a lot, really connecting. Maybe uh, you had some very nice conversations with this Ace of Swords as well. So it's, it's like it was clear to you as well where this was going and then suddenly this person pulled back the energy. Now I think um, what's interesting we have like this infinity symbol here which is like long-term potential, uh, long-term future. So it's almost like this person saw their future and, and with you in that future and they saw how it would play out. And, and then they got scared and then they, they pulled back the energy. Because I think they, they realized what they could lose. So it's almost like an insecurity that, that suddenly hit them. And... And now they are feeling almost like stuck, like they are, like this person hanging on this rope here. And I do think they want to get themselves unstuck. <laughs> um, I think it was like they, they needed time to reflect on this and to almost process their emotions. Because they definitely see you as like, if they you are represented by the Queen of Wands here, they definitely see you as like someone very... Um, passionate and fiery and really shining your light and we have like all of these sunflowers on here as well which I associate with Leo so it's like you light up a room and you you are really like a, a trailblazer maybe like a trendsetter you could be someone that's quite uh, attractive as well because this girl is quite um, beautiful or uh, you have like nice hair or something but definitely they see you as almost like magical and it's funny, this this woman has like the wand on her head, yeah, it, make, it makes me think of a unicorn, so really that idea of you being almost like out of this world and a really welcoming as well. We have this woman standing with her arms a bit open, it's like you really had this warm energy about you and that's part of the reason that you could establish this deep bond with you in such a, a short amount of time. It's, right, it's like you're really connected with each other and I think you you could be like cancer placements even though this is like fire maybe um, cancer moon or something like that sorry guys I just quickly had to uh, check our alarm went off anyway uh, I was saying that you could have like cancer placements so maybe like um, cancer moon or, or rising or something like that because I do get a, a like an almost a motherly en energy so I do think you were quite soft with them obviously you don't have to be female it's just like uh, your vibe now I do want to quickly mention I just thought about it with the alarms going off you know that saying of like alarm bells going off so I think <laughs> this person was almost alarmed by their intense feelings and that's why they pulled back the energy. It's almost like they, they felt they had to rein it in um, due to a fear of giving themselves over to this connection. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And, you know, it, it was like an indecision here. Like, do I go towards this connection fully or do I choose to hold back a bit? And I think it could be or it could have caused some confusion because like I said it could be that they they came on very strong and then pulled back so you're left feeling confused about what exactly exactly this person's intentions are now with the knight of swords it's about someone rushing in very quickly so I think you guys could expect communication from this person or you 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 could expect things to go back to normal where they are very lovable again so maybe if you are like chatting with them online, it could be that they always responded very quickly to your text and then for some time it was like they took forever and they maybe left you on read 
And obviously this is not excusing their behavior. I'm just trying to explain what the energy was, so the thought process behind this. So I think you guys can expect things to go forward much quicker from now on. Because of this Knight of Swords, this person is really like galloping on this horse. And we have a big sword here as well, which really looks like this one on the Ace of Swords. So that clarity really came through for them again about how much they feel for you and that they are hurting themselves by uh, reining in their energy and are not going towards these intense feelings. And with the Four of Wands, um, upright you can talk about gateways now or celebrations. And it's, it's still about that when it's in the reverse, but it's like they kept themselves from going through a gateway. And this can also talk about uh, divine counterparts if you subscribe to that idea, especially with this yin yang with the wheel of fortune. So maybe you triggered this person a bit. Uh, maybe they are more like an avoidant attachment type, and you are you are very open with your feelings, and they aren't quite used to that, and it almost scared them. So that's that's part of the reason why they retracted some of the energy. But the Wheel of Fortune is about changes as well, so there is going to be a change in this energy. Like I said, they, they might be coming in a lot quicker, uh, especially with communication as well. Now with the Queen of Swords, um, she's like a very smart person, very intelligent, and could be a bit sharp with her words as well. So I, I do think this person is scared <laughs> that you're going to be in this Queen of Swords energy compared to the Queen of Wands energy that you were in in the past. And you have full right, of course, to have stronger boundaries now. But they are quite scared that you're going to almost <laughs> slice them into little pieces with a sword here, maybe with your words. So even though you have like this soft energy, I do think they realize you also have this harder, tougher side where you can stand your ground and where you know your worth because you are the queen of wands, you are the queen of swords, you are um, someone with a lot to offer and you you aren't okay with someone just giving you breadcrumbs. So I do think you should be clear about being not okay <laughs> with like a lack of effort from their side. So Spirit is really saying like don't uh, hold back <laughs> for their sake. Obviously don't don't try to completely <laughs> cut them down and just cut them off uh, but it's still your right to be open about how you want this connection to unfold and what your standards are in terms of the connection so for example they can't just leave you on red for two days and then reply suddenly being all casual as if nothing happened um, so that's just like a side note from spirit now with the uh, Nine of Swords here reversed, this person is definitely feeling a lot of anxiety about the lack of balance in the situation because we have the Six of Pentacles which is about equal give and take. So they realize that they haven't been fair to you and they haven't been doing their part because as I said here they pulled back their energy. So I think they are very aware of their actions. It's just like... It's almost like ingrained in them to pull back. Like I said, it could be that they are an avoidant personality or um, attachment style. So it's something that they generally do in relationships. I think what's new in this situation is that they haven't felt these intense feelings before. As I said here with the Ace of Swords, it's like this clarity hit them. Um, and that's why we also have the Fool here, which is about new beginnings and like with this baby on here it's like birthing a new start and once again we have the infinity so as i said here with the six of swords it's almost like for the first time they could envision a future with someone a really long-term future and that's what made them pull back but now they want to come back and even like start a family with you in the future with this baby image uh, and it could just talk literally about them feeling a fool <laughs> Uh, feeling that like they made a huge mistake by pulling back the energy and especially with the moon here as well this is really like secrets being kept and I, I think this person felt like this girl on here um, almost uh, 
beating themselves up about the choices that they made. It makes me think of this Nine of Swords energy as well, really like an anxious energy. I think they could have stayed up a lot of nights thinking about this and really thinking about the way forward and almost battling themselves and their own ways of sabotaging relationships that could bring them emotional fulfillment because we have the Ten of Cups here and this is really complete emotional fulfillment. So they really realize and see now that they could have this happily family life with you. Um, but it depends on them to to put in the effort here to have an equal give and take in this relationship. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be a separation or anything. It's just like there's some some weird stuff going on in, in this relationship if you're already together. Um, and now we do have a rainbow on here that could be a sign for you guys. I just want to mention that. Uh, but anyway, okay. So I want to get some information about the future energy and disconnection. So spirit for group number three, please. Can we get some information about what's happening next here? Okay, we have, what's that? Will of fortune reversed. Interesting. I do think there's a sense of destiny surrounding this situation and in this case the wheel of fortune feels to me like this person is stuck on you it's it's really like they can't let go and the only change in the situation is terms is in terms of their actions it's not like the connection is going anywhere um it's it's like you are written into each other's lives we have 10 of pentacles reversed Oh, and another one. <laughs> we have the Four of Cups reversed. Okay. Now, if the Ten of Pentacles reversed, it could be that there was some insecurity um, surrounding their status as well. I think they might be working on their career a bit to almost reach your level, since you are this Queen of Wands uh, energy, really abundant energy. Um, so maybe that's something that they first wanted to sort out as well before they could come towards you. But with the Four of Cups reversed, they really are determined to not uh, let this opportunity pass them by again. Because um, upright, it can really talk about not seeing what's right in front of you. And the clarity has definitely hit them that, that you are something that they want in their future. Let's get one last. Okay, that's too many. Is this one? Two. Oh, we have the Four of, four of Wands now, again. <laughs> So definitely they want to move through this gateway and this can even talk about like like weddings and that type of celebration. So I think um, this person once again can really see a future with you guys. Uh, and we did have the Five of Cups here. So I think they, they feel like a future without you uh, will be very sad and like disappointment, disappointing and very alone and... It's, it's quite a depressing energy, the Five of Cups. Uh, you feel like left out and you feel like you are um, missing something because this, this guy is like not seeing these two cups. Um, so I think this person realizes if they don't see what they have in you and they don't go after that, they will feel very filled with regret in the future. Um, and I, I also thought immediately of um, them imagining you marrying someone else and really feeling a lot of sadness over that. I think they won't be able to live with themselves if they were to see that happen. Okay, um, so I'm going to end your reading here with some advice. So actually, I'm going to use an oracle card. So spirit for group number three, please. Can we get some advice here? Okay, we have patience. Interesting. Hmm. Makes me think of the temperance card. So that is uh, Sagittarius energy. And you know, this bird almost makes me think of like the stork, which delivers babies. <laughs> so definitely this person is very adamant about having a future with you. Now this doesn't even have to talk about real babies. It can just be like adopting a pet together or having a creative project, like a creative baby together. Um, but definitely, this person wants to have a future with you, but it, it might it might take some time for them to build up the courage to approach you. Um, you could give them a little nudge maybe, especially if they are worried about mismatch in terms of your material wealth or something like that. Maybe you could just 
show them that that doesn't really matter to you as much or it's not something that they have to worry about. Um, obviously, if they want to work on themselves, that's great, but they don't have to feel like they are lacking uh, and let that hold them back from actually committing to you. Okay, so let's get a Moonology card here. So Spirit for group number three, please, can we get some advice for them or some future energy, whatever you want to you have. What's this? Your dreams need a practical plan. Interesting. And we have uh, Full Moon in Taurus. Taurus can be a bit headstrong here. <laughs> they could be a bit stubborn. I really think um, they are letting practical factors hold them back as well. So especially this idea of career. So maybe not being in a position where they feel they are worthy of you. Okay, let's see. One more here. Okay, we have... A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. And I said, I feel like one of you could have like Cancer placements. Um, so there's definitely going to be um, clarity for you as well. And um, you're going to receive some type of communication from this person, even though it might take some time. Uh, but I think they are also making practical plans on how to approach and how to approach this situation. Now uh, let's just end here with one last parting advice from Spirit. So Spirit, for group number three, please, one more card here. What can you tell us? Okay, that's too many. <laughs> just one card, please. Okay, we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Interesting. Um, I think Spirit is advising you to stay in your power and focus on yourself. You could be quite spiritual, you could be quite wise. Uh, and I think you almost seem like a teacher to this person. You might be teaching them about healthy relationships. Uh, and it could even be about like, uh, maybe just talking to some of, of some of your friends about the situation. And finding solace in, in those other connections as well, especially if this is weighing on you, this person that has retracted the energy. And I just saw we had boundaries at the back of the deck here. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? And I mentioned here with the Queen of Swords, you could have put up some stronger boundaries now that this person has um, behaved in this way. So I don't think it's a, it's a, a negative thing for you to have. Obviously boundaries is good and we should all have boundaries. Just be aware to not build boundaries in all of your relationships. So don't be closed off to other connections. Um, and be aware that people live from their own programming. So I really do get an avoidant energy here with this person. I don't think it's something that you have to take personally, the way that they behaved. It's just like part of the DNA that they have to clear up, if I can say it like that, they have to evolve into something better. <laughs> okay, so, and even with the rose, you know, a rose, it blossoms. Um, so I think they have time to really open themselves up to this connection and to devote themselves to you as well. Okay, so group number three, I'm going to leave your reading there. Uh, I really hope it resonated. If it did, you can let me know in the comments down below. And then I hope you guys have a lovely day. If you want to support me and my channel, you can give this video a like and subscribe. You can even click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post new videos. And then I will see you guys in the next video soon. Bye.